specifically the slaying of said beasts. I need a few pointers. Selena, this girl I met on a blind date, she's in trouble. She left me standing in the rain, freezing my natchez off. As you can imagine, me, not best pleased. So, I went to Morgane's house, asked her what happened. Elaine has been kidnapped by some goblins sent by her evil half-stepbrother. You see my predicament. Miss Elaine, bit of a looker, is she? Blind date, Lancelot, and go to flu. Percival, my rule with lanes is never get your weapon out for anything less than an eight. Seven if you guarantee the shack afterwards. Which she may be, I am on a bound to rescue her. Then in my experience, our prey dragon slaying, so long, is not to be lost. Not anything sharper. Why don't you go see this evil half set brother? Maybe you can sort this all out without bloodshed. Maybe you're right, might have a borrow this. Sure, muck yourself out. I told you people, my application for a TV license is in the post. This is a personal matter regarding your stepsister Elaine, a band of goblins and a fearsome dragon. Oh, I was just making a brew. Would you like a cup? There was a misunderstanding. I was down at the pub with my minion, coming back from the bar with my round. And, oops, I, I tripped. I turned around and looming over me was this 200 foot dragon. Shandy, dripping off its scales. What's new in my point? Demand one virgin sacrifice for the a stroppy tart. The only virgin I could think of was my stepsister Elaine. So I had a bound gag and shipped off to the dragon. Completely understandable, but as a man of honour, I am duty bound to kill the dragon and save your sister. And if the dragon is dead, the curse is lifted. Go ahead and kill that blinking dragon for me. There didn't seem much point in hanging around. Well, the dragon was happy. He got his sacrifice. Mordred was happy. He wasn't cursed. And pretty much everyone that wasn't barbecued was happy. Job done then. <laughs> 